Woohoo! All right, got the light. <laughs> yeah. Gotta love the vapid. <laughs> it's my vapid hot knife. Hello there, everybody. Welcome back. I'm the Missing Zock. Welcome back for more Grand Theft Auto Online. Yeah, so I thought I'd come down here to the uh, vapid dealer. Vapid since 1942. Yeah. So I've already kind of talked to him. So we are going to order ourselves a brand new vapid car. One I've been looking forward to, one that you guys probably know from the last episode. We're going to get ourselves an Ellie. Yeah, otherwise known as, well, secretly known as an Eleanor. <laughs> Not much of a secret there. But yeah, Eleanor from the uh, movie Gone in 60 Seconds. Mm -hmm. Now, mind you, in many ways, this is uh, a late 60s Mustang, the uh, Ellie. I guess they still can't get in. It's too bad because there's actually a little interior in there. If you fly along with your helicopter and put lights on it at night, you can see that you can go inside there, like like other buildings, but closed off. It's too bad you can't buy it from the dealership. <laughs> That's all right. Well, let's order it right here in the warm sun. Yeah, I saw that come down here since 1942. Yeah, probably around the time, not too long after they made our, our uh, hot knife back there, our naked hot knife. <laughs> Okay, so let's go down to Southern San Andreas Super Autos. There she is, the Vapid Ellie, 565,000. Now, most people, uh, this is a, uh, no, to most people, it's a 1967 uh, Ford Shelby GT500 Mustang, otherwise known as a as the Eleanor, which is a uh, modified uh, 1967 uh, Shelby Mustang, and we'll get to that in a moment. So it's modified in slight ways from the movie. Um, now, to some people, this is also a late 60s, like it also has parts from other eras of other Mustangs, um, as well as other muscle car parts in general. So I, I take this as a general late 60s uh, Mustang. Some people think of it as the John Wick Mustang. I thought the John Wick and the Eleanor were very similar GT500s, but they're actually not. Um, the John Wick car is a 1960, well, they say in the movie it's a 1969 Boss 4, 429. But uh, car people that watch the movie all say that it's not. It's actually a, uh, a 1969 Mach 1 Mustang. So, yeah. Either way, I think this represents a lot of all that. Nice ride. Mustang. Boss 429. See a 70. 69. Ah. Beautiful car. Thanks. Yeah, let's get in there. Vapidelli. But this right here is why people think it's the uh, Eleanor, mainly because of the name, obviously Ellie, being short for Eleanor, and because it has the gas tank right here. And apparently, generally speaking on this year, the gas tank was on the back, not on the side. But Eleanor was customized to have it on the side. So it's kind of a giveaway that it's Eleanor having it right there, as well as the name, obviously. Yeah, so I do like that red. I don't know, we've already seen it in the picture red, but that's awesome. Classic Mustang car. I think I'm going to go with a couple stripes, maybe some dark... Maybe we should have a look at it in black. Hmm. It does look good in almost everything. Let's order it in black. Oversized, oversexed, overpowered, and understeered. <laughs> this is the car that joined cheap contraception and masturbatory guitar solos to form the unholy trinity of baby boom Americana. But before you reach for your vintage jacket and the sepia filter on your snapmatic, be warned. This old dog has torn the limbs off braver hipsters than you. <laughs> All right. Let's buy it. Let's send it off to, yeah, Del Poro. Take it to our office. We haven't been there in a little while, I don't think. Although it's tempting to go to some of the muscle car uh, garages, but we'll just go to our, our office one for this one. Yeah, Ellie will be delivered to your garage shortly. I'm busy, Murray. You should call me from time to time. Yeah, you don't give me free cars. <laughs> I bring you cars, but you don't give me any, so got to take care of that myself. <laughs> well, let's get over, get back to our Del Poro apartments garage and pick up our new vapid oh. Oh. yeah this doesn't steer too well either <laughs> yeah so this one's kind of a movie car too being that it's so iconic as the Jelpy, uh, Shelby GT500. Your new black Ellie is now confirmed as having been delivered to your garage at Del Perro Apartments, apartment 20. Woohoo. All right, 
so let's go have a look. Yeah, let's hope she gives us a smooth run. <laughs> Woohoo! See, so yeah, I've been looking forward to this car for a long time. We've talked about that in a couple other episodes. To some people, this car was kind of missing from the game. Oh. The 67 Shelby Mustang GT500. The GT500. Yeah, yeah. There she is. Yep. There's Eleanor. Yeah. Being it's such an iconic car, it's uh, probably one of the top 100 kind of known cars in the in the world so it's kind of a kind of odd that it was missing so now we've got it and apparently soon we'll have a uh, customizable dominator too a newer mustang Woohoo! yeah nice i like that there's that gas cap that we were talking about right there yeah just gives it away even more as eleanor a nice classic mustang look yep it's got the front lights Classic muscle car back. Nice. Awesome. She's smooth. Good girl. <laughs> Be good to me, baby. Don't rip my limbs off. <laughs> What's he doing? He's talking to a man, trying to get reacquainted. He only had a rough history. She almost got him killed a couple of times. Oh, wait. Smooth, easy ride. I'm just gonna glide. Oh, she's got a good purr. I want to hear that again, because I was over there. Nice. Got a little vibration in the uh, in the exhaust there. Let's take her out. Mmm, lots of sputtering. That's always nice. See, to me, this is a collector's car, and it's more of a fun car. It's not really made for winning races necessarily, or at least not in this day and age. What is it? It's a muscle car. Good. I knew that, but I wasn't sure if it was actually a, um, a classic, sports classic, because it could be either one, you really. Not bad for stock. She's got lots of, lots of growl. Yeah. Not bad, I like it. Yeah, she's a little sluggish, but she's um, a classic muscle car. Yeah, it's to be expected. And if you practice with those kinds of cars, you can actually get pretty good at them. The, the trick is a lot of times to get used to those sliding, to anticipate the, uh, the oversteering and bad brakes and things like that. It's just a lot of fun with that sound. Nice interior, wooden, wooden um, steering wheel there. Nice gauges. And she's in great shape. Mm hmm Somebody took care of her all these years just so I could get her. <laughs> yeah. Let's pull up to this light right here. Just for a second. Let's open her up. Oh, she's got a great burr. I like that. Like I said, she's just about... Uh, to me, this is just a cruising car, you know? Not to... Not necessarily performance, just more about fun and feeling good. And this, to me, is a great cruiser. Uh, doors, all. Oh. All right. Let's have a look. Yep, room for bodies in the back. <laughs> Seats, too. Nice engine. Yeah, nice. All opens up. Nothing too special, but uh, I'm not complaining. It's good. Let's hop in. Let's take her in to get her ready before the morning. She's got a door alert. Door is open. <laughs> and I like all the little gauges and everything. Looks, uh, looks normal-ish race car, you know, like a street race car. Looks just about right. <laughs> it looks like the muscle free grims come with it. Nice. Mm hmm. Now we got a Shelby Mustang. 
I did want to see those lights. Yeah, they do work. Excellent. Never know with Rockstar. Sometimes lights work, sometimes they don't. I don't understand that, really. Why Why some of the new cars? Like, the old cars, sure, but the new cars? Why, why wouldn't the new cars have lights that all work? Oh, well. At least this one does. Ooh, very well. Holy. <laughs> in we go. Hmm. Yeah, we'll put this up on the... On our little muscle floor for a moment. Although I think this one might belong with our supercars, our collector cars. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, so far I'm happy with that. Not a bad price either, 565000 So, not too bad at all. Yeah. I wouldn't call it cheap, but it's certainly not expensive compared to some of their other recent stuff, too. I was actually surprised at the price. I thought it would be more being the kind of car that it is. And some people expected more out of it, but it is a classic muscle car. It's not a new one, right? And next to that, the price isn't too bad. So, in we go. What can we do to it? Mm, lots of things, I hope. Lots of things. Actually, I've seen a lot of pictures, and there's a lot of things you can do with this. Um, like I said, if I didn't know what I wanted, I, I would probably be very indecisive with this, because there's so, so many styles you can make it look in. So let's have a look and see. So we're going to... Oh, good. Yeah, sales are on the go. So armor for 37500 I think that would normally be um, 50000 I think it's 25% off for all that stuff. Makes sense in these troubled times, I guess. Yep. Yeah, I think I'm going to be uh, smashing this up a little bit. <laughs> it attracts the attention of the police, I think. Trouble car. Fun car, but trouble car. <laughs> At least so it's rumored to be. <laughs> All right, race brakes. 26,250. Front bumpers. Standard and painted splitter. Long and, hard. and none. I think we'll get painted. That's cool. All right, seven thousand four hundred for that. Engine level four, twenty-five thousand. You got some machine under that bonnet. Mm -hmm. Nice. All right, exhaust. Lots of exhaust choices. So we can change those from the back to the side exit. Stock with what? Custom. Custom hood. Whatever you desire. Oh. Technology and budget. The exhaust is changing the hood. Really? <laughs> that's uh, that's different. Okay. Side exit with the custom hood. Ooh, sacrilege hood with blower. So you can give it all the muscle, muscle, muscle look. Look how shiny that makes it look too. Hmm. Seems to upgrade the insides because that engine didn't quite look like that beforehand when we looked at it. Sacrilege with hood blower too. Nice. Oh, with exhausts. And then with exhausts for the sacrilege too. Wow, that's really nice. Making decisions is stressful. Mm-hmm. I don't know, guys, this is what I mean about the looks, you know, like, I think it looks great in, uh, in, like, a stock, and I think it looks great with the side ex exits, and I think it looks great <laughs> with all these, you know, yeah, and I do like these, but I, I think I'm going to go with the classic Shelby look that doesn't have this, but I really like it, if you can think it I don't know, that I one's tempting, I like how the engines all, like, the heads are coming right out, and they're all shine and chromed, hmm, but I think for mine, I'm going to get a classic look, at least for now. I could always change it later, I suppose, right? So I think I'll go with the side exit. Yeah, yeah, side exit with the custom hood. No that hood's shit. nice. Well, the custom hood's nice. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. 3000 for that. Easy change later if we want to. Mm -hmm. Horn, we don't need anything there. Just got the standard. Yeah. Lights, headlights, xenon light, sure we'll upgrade those. Neon kits, nah, not for this one. Not for now anyway. Livery, we're gonna have a look at that. Plate, yes. This in sock. Looks Yay. almost as good as you. Thank you. <laughs> Alright. Black and yellow, looks good. 
Sun strip suspension. Yeah, let's do the suspension. Lower it down. Wow. Very low. Sword suspension. 3,400. Transmission. Race transmission for 3,000 on sale. Nice. Turbo. 37,500. The cops stop you? Don't tell me why it's all that. <laughs> the cops won't be stopping me. <laughs> What's she talking about? Mmm, nice. Don't she look pretty? Yeah, she does. Look at that. Just a mean looking black. Mm. Nice. Okay. Yeah, well, let's go back up there. Sun stripes. Oh, yeah. Vapid Motor Company. That's not too bad. Classy ish. I think I'm going to probably go with none, but, you know, that's not too bad. Vapid Racing. That's kind of cool. Chabelle, Vapid, and Globe Oil. Do you need a drink? Bubbles or something? Hmm. That's like a showy, like a show car one. Vapid Motor Company, you know. But I think I'm going to leave that off for me. Let's go into the liveries and resprays. Do we do everything else? Just the wheels left, I think. Yep, 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 yep. All right, let's go to libraries. So it looks like we got 11 choices in here. Life is hard when you can have anything. Yeah, classic twin black. All right, twin white. Number eight, classic race. Hmm. What's that say? Vapid Motor Company. Oh yeah. Number seven, track day. Long and yeah, I don't think I'll pick any of these, but I do like them. They're actually kind of classy. Some of them, compared to some of the other ones I've seen in the past. Vapid Motor Company. Yeah, that one's more of a Globe Oil Vintage Vapid 187. Number 9, Debonair. Fresh America Taste. <laughs> Number 53, the Classic Vapid. Yeah, that is a very classic look. Number 60, Dense. Oh, it looks like we might have to... Uh, maybe I should go... Respray. I'll waste a little bit of money for you guys here. <laughs> we'll get it. Uh, what do we get? Maybe just do eight. Yeah. Yeah, it's just eight hundred. I can afford it. Nice. So let's go back to the libraries and see what that one looked like. Yeah, it was the dents. We can barely see it before. Looks all right actually on the uh, white. All right, and there's Global Oil number one. And of course you could change that, that white that you see is not the white we just picked. So you'd be able to change that to whatever color you wanted to go with that yellow, maybe black or whatever. Number 18, homo Homogenia. Homogenia. <laughs> yeah, nice, I like these looks. And none. Hmm. Well, she definitely looks like a great race car. Can't see that way on there. <laughs> well, I think I'm going to go with the classic twin black. Yeah. It's too bad they don't give you a few other choices for these. Like a little bit more wider would have been nice, I think. Instead of being close together stripes. But that's more or less the classic kind of Eleanor look, so I think I'm going to go with that. And you still have the little vapid showing up right here. It shows up down here in the bottom left corner. You can think it. Yeah. So that's not there until you do that. So that's kind of nice. A little detail anyway. All right, on sale, 13,680. <laughs> you definitely don't need that. <laughs> Let's hope it makes it go faster. Race stripes. <laughs> okay, now, um, hmm, wheels or the paint job? Hmm. No rush at all. Yeah, we'll do our paint job because we're already doing the paint anyway. Okay, so there's only a primary color and just your crew emblem. Crew emblem goes right there. Hmm, not bad, I guess. And primary color. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> wow. Do you need a drink? Bubbles or something? So I think I'm going to go with like an anthracite. More like I said, um, uh, the Gone in 60 Seconds Mustang is very similar to this, uh, except it's more like a silver. Yeah, let's see if we can find it. It's more like a bright silver. But uh, the, the John Wick version 
is a little bit, if you look at the movie, it's a little bit more like a darker black, like an anthracite kind of thing. Life is hard when with the stripes. Yeah, something like that would be the John Wick version. And the Gone in 60 Seconds version would be probably a little bit brighter like that. Or maybe even the metals. I don't know if I've got those. Uh, I'm going to unlock those one of these days. Yeah, i got to do those races, the rally races. Aluminum. And, oh, well, maybe, yeah, the brush black steel. Yeah, that would actually... Yeah, I don't know if that's quite right, but that's uh, a very similar to a Eleanor kind of look. And to me, the, uh, the John Wick would be more of the dark black, just slightly different. You know, if you put them side by side, you can see the differences when you look at the two movie cars, but John Wick's version is just a little darker. So how dark do I want it to be? Oh, and what we'll go through the colors here for you guys. <laughs> so I know what I want, but we'll see what you guys like. Well, a lot of the colors look great on this, I think. On the red, the Torino red, the black stripes. Hmm. Garnet red. Yeah, wine reds. Oranges. Yellows. I'm gonna look at those again for a quick second. How many cars you got in this garage again? Mm, bronzes. Very classic muscle look. That's a bright yellow. <laughs> Dew yellow. <laughs> that should make a good green monster, too. Mm. Mm, midnight blue. That's nice. Making decisions is stressful. Chocolate brown. And the bison brown. It surprises me how many times bison brown and things actually look pretty good on certain cars. Maple browns. Beechwood. Mmm. Sienna. Saddle brown. That's kind of nice. If you can mm. think it, Spinnaker purple. I can do it. Midnight purple. That's nice. Like a modern version, redone version of it. Looks like. Gasoline green. It's not bad. Hmm. Very nice. And I just wanted to have a quick look at the matte finishes. You could probably make it look pretty rough and rugged, especially with some of those libraries, too, if you wanted to, too, instead of Shokar. No rush at all. Yeah. I like that. Well. Let's go back to Metallic and see if I can pick my Silver Gray. Yeah, I'm thinking Anthracite, Graphite. Carbon's not bad, but you can barely see it, but it's still not bad. Drink? Bubbles or something? You really see that Vapid, but at least it's there. The Black Steel's not bad. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with the anthracite black. I don't know why, but I just kind of like that. I like that look. Your cosmetics are on point. All right. Don't know if we nearly need a pearlescent on it. It's already got the right one. But it's cool how you can give it the shine. The pearlescent shine. Bracing blue. <laughs> Doesn't really mix with the color choices, but kind of cool. Life is hard when you can have anything. But sometimes it's worth looking in and here. Sometimes if you want it shinier, you know, things like a nice white can really bring out a shine. Yeah, see, like on uh, on as a pearlescent. Yeah, frost green. Yeah, mine's already black steel. if I want to. I think I will change it to the darker version. Yeah, barely even, you can barely even tell the difference, but I'm going to go with a, uh, a black pearlescent on there, I think. Yeah, maybe not quite as dark. Carbon black. But a little bit darker than the black steel pearlescent. Okay, one thing left. Wheels. Wheel type, well, it looks good in a lot of things, but muscle probably would be the best thing for it. 
Mm, I don't know if I want chrome on this or not. Oh, decisions. Mm, a revolver always goes well with auto muscle cars. Black dot. Not too bad in the sense I've never used it before, but uh, it kind of looks like a, a custom version of the stock rims. Hmm. To me. When, when we were looking at the Muscle Freak earlier. Yeah, there's Muscle Freak. Barely any difference. There's the Chrome Muscle Freak. And regular Muscle Freak. Hmm. Yeah, so it's definitely that one. It's just a slightly bigger rim. I think the paid for ones actually look better. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to color this one, though. So we're going to go stock instead of chrome. I don't know. Maybe I should try that black top. It's not too bad. I don't know why, but I kind of like that. But I do like the revolvers. Those are great. They usually are, and, and the uh, the spooners here as well. They can, when they color those, those quite often give it a nice mean look to a lot of cars. Yep, five star is kind of nice because you can color it and still has the chrome ring around it. So there's a lot of good choices in here. Yeah, El Jefe, the boss, <laughs> mm, and mercenary. Just always nice, classic bad Dukes of Hazard guys. <laughs> what I always think of with those ones, bad guys and Dukes of Hazard. All right, well. I think I'm going to go black top. Never used them before. Why not? 15,680. Okay. Wheel color. I wasn't even sure what they color like. It's actually not too bad. They're kind of shiny still. Even with the coloring. is nice and then it lets you see those black a lot better on it but I think I'm gonna go black anyway black on black I like that all right black colors tires tire design hmm do I want I usually do pick this I usually do like the custom design on it gives you a little bit of extra details hmm she looks good with it off and on Yeah, I guess I'm going to put her on, I guess. Yeah, maybe not. Why not? I'm thinking about leaving it off, why not? For once, maybe I will. Making decisions is stressful. Be different. You're not going to get a flat. <laughs> That's what I like to hear, because we're going to have to run in this, I think. 2000, 25,000 for bulletproof tires. Tire smoke, well, white's always nice, but we'll give it black, why not? There she is. She is done. She is our dark black Mustang. Exit to ground. Yeah, let's stick around. Yeah, I wonder where she sleeps. Maybe in that little door there. <laughs> little room. Hey, right, right. LJT here. There's a bottleneck at the man, so... I I'm on my day off. <laughs> I'll be there later. Oh, that's so nice. The uh, exhaust still has that vibration, so that's cool. Very happy with that. I'm gonna drive around some more though. 
But one thing I don't really like is that that engine, it's too bad. Maybe I will take it in and change the exhaust, but they didn't, I don't know why they give you hood and exhaust options under the same thing. Now that I'm, I, you know, I like new stuff and more stuff, but I, now that I'm, I've gone through it, I don't really like that. Because <laughs> they, you can't pick them in separate combinations, so. And uh, I like the engine, no complaints. But, you know, it looked like the uh, the other one had more details, as we were saying, the chrome and stuff. And when it's like this, you don't really get any. Now, I suppose the uh, the hood's usually down anyway, but still, it would have been nice to have some interior options or have this uh, be chromable or something. Um, I was hoping that even though, because we've picked the custom hood, right? And the side exhaust, so we're not a base level, we're a few levels above, so you would have thought that maybe underneath the hood it'd be different. But no, too bad. Should have been. But yeah, just one complaint so far. Otherwise, good. I like how they close that off. See the little, little, little uh, screws there, rivets, right there. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. So a lot of times in the past they just left an empty hole whenever you moved your exhaust, and a lot of people didn't like that. So now it's more race car. They've closed that right off. Yeah. Cool. Well, that's her like I'm not even doing that <laughs> I can do that stuff for the fun of it but it's doing it all on its own that sputter 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 that's pretty cool though if you ask me Ooh. slides a little bit yeah so I'm just gonna go here and just holding down the gas and you hear it sputter and sputter oh now it doesn't do it of course <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, so I'm happy with that. So that is our Ellie. Our Eleanor. Of course, ours is a John Wick take on it. Not exactly, though, because it's not the exact right Mustang, but it's the right color. You know, darker color. But otherwise, very similar to the Eleanor. Just a little bit darker. That's what I was looking for. Although, like I said, guys, this car looks great in so many different styles. You know, I might take it in later on and get that uh, uh, bigger engine on the front. Yeah. And I like the sound. I like how she purrs. I like how she sputters a lot. It's got a great look, like classic looks like. There's no mistaking what it is, you know. Some people you wonder, but there's no mistaking this. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> didn't see him. <laughs> nice. So yeah, all in all, I'm pretty happy with that. I know a lot of people out there were uh, disappointed for some reason. Oh. I went on. I mean, is it sluggish? Yeah, you can. You guys can see. I'm gonna have to get used to it. I can feel how slow the steering is, and uh, the braking. <laughs> yeah, well, these uh, a lot to be desired. But you know, it's a 1967 Mustang, right? Like, yeah, it's uh, it's the way it would be. You know, can't compare it to today's supercars. So I can hit the brakes now. Yeah, actually, I've seen worse in a couple cars, but uh, but yeah, you want to give it lots of room for braking, that's for sure. And uh, speed-wise, I'm pretty happy with it. I think it's got lots of go. Uh, is it the best? No, but I wasn't expecting it to be. And the price isn't bad, um, but it's actually faster, you know, like than than it could have been. I guess if that makes any sense, you know. Like some of the cars recently, they really kind of let people down, especially with the price. I don't want to pick certain ones but there were certain ones that kind of let people down and then their capabilities and this one's not too bad like you could ask for whoop, <laughs> whoop. you could ask for more but I can't really see too much to complain about you know yep. and now we've got a Shelby 500 Mustang in our garage Woo. yeah
<laughs> Go the way. Go through it. <laughs> Let's give her a bit of a run on this straightaway here. Kind of straightaway. Oh, hey. <laughs> She didn't like it. <laughs> oh, but she landed on her feet. So I'll well, we'll try that again. <laughs> Before we lose that front bumper. <laughs> so guys, I think I'm going to uh, uh, finish this up. And uh, I think probably next episode, maybe soon after. But I think I'm going to have some fun with this. Maybe we'll take it out on a couple car chases. So we'll leave this one just as our customization and review and and uh, we'll play with it maybe rescue Eleanor in the next one or something oh that was a terribly lame jump <laughs> forget you've seen that <laughs> that's what happens sometimes when you're talking at the same time as doing something <laughs> you sometimes kind of forget what you're doing and you don't do it as good all right let's try this again and our bumper's still on there, even though she's shaking, so... Yeah, I'm happy with it so far. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Two thumbs up. I definitely approve of this, this car. And like I said, 565000 that's not too bad for a show car. Now, if you don't like this car, well, you know, then and then don't get it. It's definitely not a must-have vehicle. But uh, for a fill-in in the garage, I'm really happy with that. That's a, that's a nice car to put in the garage. Yeah. Speaking of which, let's go put it in the garage. Maybe we'll put it in our floor number one for now, after all. But yeah, like I said, guys, if there was like a top list of 50 cars that, you know, you'd want that are iconic, this is definitely one of them to me. All right. Level one. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, it's nice to have a new vapid. I haven't. I don't think I've added in any new vapids recently. Yeah. Woohoo! All right, everybody. Hope you like that. That is our new Eleanor. Or Ellie. Yeah, Fabid Ellie. Very cool. I definitely like it. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, so I hope you like that. I'm the Missing Zuck. Thanks for liking. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Hello everybody. Hello all new subscribers. And all. <laughs> you guys are awesome. Yep. So I'll see you back soon for more. And for probably some racing around. Some ripping around. I was also thinking about maybe just take out some of these cars and do, I don't know, what, what we'll call it. Discussions with the sock or something. Talk about uh, some things. What I think the future of GTA is all about. Maybe some other titles. Maybe some other stuff that's just about nothing. I don't know. What do you guys think? Yeah. Anyway, we'll see you guys soon. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. Take it out just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. It's too bad you can't lift off right off there. Let they got that fence in the way. Take it to the movie set. Coming through. <laughs> All right. Uh, did I miss the turn? Is it over there? Oh. Yeah, it's too bad, you know, in a sense that you can't steal cars like a classic GTA game. You should be able to, you know. It's too bad. Maybe they'd put in missions and you could start that, you know? And this would be the kind of car that you'd find, you know, right here at the movie set. And you'd take it now and keep an it. Car. Yeah. Yeah. He knows. He knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's right. Sometimes older's better. <laughs> Sometimes. Hmm. 
Oh, I just can't get over those lines. She's so sweet. Mm-mm. Yep. She deserves to be on the movie set. I know he's an alien. I don't know what's with the black suit, dude. Is that like a green suit, or is that like just a black outfit? But he's got gloves on and stuff, so he must work here or something. <laughs> Maybe it's just what they're supposed to look like. Like if they took the suit off, they usually have like a undersuit on underneath to stop the rubbing and stuff, so maybe that's what that's supposed to be. Hmm. Alright, well, take care, everybody. See you again soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that? You guys might want to back it up. That, that screen was the Wilhelm scream. <laughs> I didn't know it was in the game. That's hilarious. You know, well, I'll tell you guys a secret. I was going to slid it into one of my videos one of these days. The Wilhelm scream is a famous scream, and it's in like a zillion movies out there. It's kind of like a ode, you know, and usually a lot of directors will try to slip it in there somewhere where you hear that, oh. <laughs> and uh, it goes way back, that Wilhelm scream. But I never heard it in the game before. I did not slip that in this time, even though I was going to. Like, not this one, but sometime in the future. But I've never heard it before. Huh. That's awesome. And in the right spot to hear it, right in the movie theater. Yeah, for those of you who don't know the Wilhelm screen, you can look that up on Google or something, and um, and uh, you'll get a kick out of that, and then you'll hear it in all, all kinds of movies where you never noticed it before. People in the background. Ah! <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, something new every day, even even after all this time. If I don't lose my virginity to the Blue Brothers, I'll just die. Well, you're in the buddy. Thanks, man. Mm. For now, Eleanor's lucky. <laughs> Hopefully that luck doesn't run out. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow night, I'll know you. It's your fine ass.